So I'm just going to take a look at connecting um, some of the sample data uh, in Google uh, Looker Studio. Um, now, you can actually connect through to the GA4 demo account, but oftentimes in Looker Studio, there's too many people using that demo data and it can crash. So we're going to kind of use like a downloaded sample so that it's not updating in real time. And um, so uh, just to take a look at how you do this, you just click on blank report and, and it's going to ask you what data you want to use. Uh, now, this is where you think to look and down here, but no, it's if you click on my data sources, this is where all the sample data. And um, so for a classroom environment, this is great data to use. Uh, you've got your Google Analytics data uh, and you've got your YouTube, Google search uh, uh, console data. Um, site and URL, we've got uh, Google Ads uh, as well uh, in here. So we will just connect through with the Google Analytics uh, data and we'll click on Add. OK, it's saying, uh, are you sure you want to do this and all the rest? It would say add uh, to report and it comes in and automatically uh, creates a table, which you can then uh, modify. So at the moment, you can see uh, it's all zeros. So the number of clicks here are, are all zeros. And the reason for that is that this is just sample data. It's not real time data. It's not sort of updating. So there's actually nothing in this time period. So what we can do is we can add a control. Um, and we can add a date range control and I'm just going to, for example, pop it in here um, and I'm going to change this to uh, the last year. OK, and then click on apply. And suddenly when I choose those dates, the numbers then appear here. So the problem was that the date and remember just using this sample data um, it's sort of stuck in time. It's not sort of updating daily or weekly or whatever. Um, and if you were using your own data, that problem uh, wouldn't happen.